In this video, we will be covering the core features of Tenant Cloud. Property listings, rent tracking and accounting, customized applications, tenant screening, listing website, maintenance tracking, and reports. Let's start with the Tenant Cloud dashboard, which is the first thing you see when you log in and where multiple widgets display information from your account. The first widget allows you to monitor the progress of your account creation. Here, you'll find a comprehensive list of steps needed to start using Tenant Cloud to the fullest. The next widget gives you quick access to all the properties that you have viewed recently. Next, you have quick stats on your leases and an accounting chart summing up total income, expenses, and overdue charges for a certain period of time. Then you have a tasks widget with the ability to quickly add a new task, plus an overview of all your applications, expiring leases, recent maintenance requests, deposits held, and recent overdue invoices. It also provides a convenient chart of all your rent invoices over the last 12 months. The settings are the next thing we'll look at. To go to settings, click on your profile photo and select settings. Each setting will provide you with a unique set of options based on its category. In the accounting settings, you can configure your profile details, secure your account, view your login sessions, sync with Google Calendar, and enable listing posting to Zillow Group websites. You can check your current plan subscription in the subscription settings. Here, you can also choose your account role, landlord or property manager, and view your billing history. Choose the landlord role if you're managing your properties by yourself. If you're handling properties for owners and require features like property management fee calculation, select the property manager role. Explore all property management features on our pricing page to learn more. From this page, you can also pause or cancel your tenant cloud subscription. Keep in mind, you'll lose access to all your profile data if you pause or cancel. Manage your cards in the My Cards section. In the accounting settings, you can set up recurring invoices, late fees, grace periods, and connect to your QuickBooks Online account if you have one. Set up the ability to collect rent online in the Online Payments section. With the help of TC Payments, we've made it super easy. Just select the account type, individual or business, and add as many bank accounts and legal entities as you need. Tenants can set up auto pay from their account, which is a recurring monthly payment, so funds are automatically sent from their bank accounts on the scheduled date. In Notifications settings, you can select the notifications you want to receive. Each notification type is divided into categories. The Rental Application settings allow you to completely customize the application. Set up application fees, select mandatory fields, edit background questions, add attachments for your applicants to download, include additional terms, and choose whether or not to require e-signature when applicants submit a rental application. The next tool is the listing website, which every tenant cloud property manager or landlord gets to advertise their listings. You can set up the website, choose a color scheme, and add the information you wish to be displayed, like your team members, office locations, and social media links. If you are subscribed to a business plan, you can also use your custom domain. If you switch your account to property manager mode, the default is landlord mode. You can add team members, assign them to properties, and manage their permissions within the system. When you've added team members, you can use the calendar to create reminders and assign them to someone from your team. You can also connect with owners, assign properties to them, share reports, send maintenance requests for approval, share owner agreements, and require e-signatures. This feature is solely available in the business plan. In the request settings, you can set up recurring service settings, such as how often or how early you want them to be posted before the recurring maintenance request is due, and if you want them shared with tenants and service pros. Also, we do have an affiliate program, which is a great opportunity for you to share Tenant Cloud with your friends, colleagues, or subscribers on social media and receive compensation for the people who end up using the platform. Here, you can get your personal referral link, withdraw earned funds to your bank account, view your referral list and their statuses, 
and check out the payout history. You'll receive the first month's subscription amount from each of your referrals in your affiliate account. You can withdraw these earnings to your bank account once you reach a minimum balance of $50. The next section is Portfolio. Here, you have the opportunity to simply add your own custom properties. Select a single unit or multi-unit type, enter unit details, property features like carpet, storage, or internet, and amenities like pool, tennis court, or a park nearby. In the Units section, you'll see all your units sorted by their property, so you can see whether they are vacant or occupied and make quick actions like move in a tenant or list a unit. We understand that having multiple properties can make it difficult to keep track of keys. Therefore, in the Keys and Locks section, you'll be able to keep track of your keys by assigning them to units and then changing them as needed. In the Equipment section, you can add individual pieces of equipment, fill in information about them, and track them further by scheduling recurring maintenance checks or viewing maintenance requests for this specific equipment. Here we have Leasing. All listing applications will be listed in the Applications section. You can see the leasing status and tenant summary by clicking View Application. You can purchase a screening for an applicant on the View Application page by clicking Actions, Request Screening Report. Tenant Cloud offers three screening packages to choose from. You can also request Income Insights, which is an additional screening that shows if the income information provided in the application matches the income information reported in their screening. All the screening reports are saved in the Screenings tab. Here, you can also click Screen Tenant to purchase a screening report for an applicant who hasn't applied with a rental application. Enter their first name, last name, and email address to begin screening. With Tenant Cloud, all of your property manager's tasks can be completed in one place. An application arrives, you review it, and you choose which application screening package to use. When you receive the screening report, you must decide whether to approve it and click Move In Applicant. You will go through the Tenant Cloud move in process, which consists of five simple steps and a lease will be created and shared with your tenant as a result. You can get all the information possible regarding your vacancies in the listings section. Here, you can view all your rental properties and advertise the vacant ones. You can post the listing to your personal listing website and syndicate it to multiple popular listing websites such as Rentler, Apartments.com, Realtor.com, and others in just a few clicks. On the Leads tab, you will see everyone who requested a tour, sent you a question, or contacted you via the contact form on your listing website. Also, you can add a new lead manually. Click on a specific lead to view all the activity associated with them, change their status, add notes, or invite them to apply. Premium leads are tenants looking for a rental whose search criteria correspond to your vacancy. Tenant Cloud automatically finds this match and it appears on this page, so all you have to do is click Invite to Apply. Contacts is another feature of Tenant Cloud that includes tenants and service professionals' information. Tenants can quickly be sorted into Moved In, No Lease, and Archived categories. Moved In will display all tenants with active leases while No Lease will display tenants who do not have an active lease and can be moved in directly from this page. Archived tenants have moved out and no longer reside on your property. When you click on a specific tenant, you'll see their profile details, leases, active and past with all their detailed information, their transactions, insurance details, rental applications, and submitted maintenance requests. This green sign indicates that you have a Tenant Cloud connection with the tenant, so you can invoice them, send payments to each other, share a lease, receive maintenance requests, and chat. To contact a tenant, enter their email address and select Send Connection from the three-dot menu. You can easily add a new tenant and fill out their basic information. The new tenant will be listed on the No Lease page until they move in. Every tenant has a timeline where you can review all of the tenant's actions chronologically. The Service Pros tab will show all your Service Pros contacts. You can connect to assign maintenance requests and pay them online. 
By clicking on a specific Service Pro, you'll see general information about them, their services, and the history of any transactions. In Accounting, you can view the details of each transaction and see outstanding balances, what's paid, and overdue in various timeframes like all, one month, three months, one year, or select your custom date range. On a paid invoice, there will be the detailed payment activity information. In the Balances section of the accounting, you'll see a general balance of each of your moved-in tenants. And in the Recurring section, there will be all your recurring transactions. Maintenance is another essential feature of Tenant Cloud. Here, you can see all the maintenance requests created by you or your tenants. They are sorted by status on the Requests board. Creating a new request from your end as the property manager or landlord is very simple. Click Add Request, select the request type and category, and fill out the issue details. Then select the property, link the equipment if you want to keep track of its maintenance history, and enter any other relevant information to your situation. You and the Service Pro assigned to this maintenance request will be able to add materials used ensuring that all information about each specific maintenance request is saved in your Tenant Cloud account and easily accessible whenever necessary. After you submit a request, you can assign a Service Pro from your contact list, or the system will find you an available specialist in your area. Local service professionals will see your request when you click Find an SP and respond with bids. You can view their profiles, read reviews, and hire the best one. In the Calendar tab, you can set reminders that will appear in your calendar. You can select an assignee and attach a property to every reminder. Want to set a recurring reminder? Simply select the frequency and end date. In the Tasks tab, you can see all the tasks that were created for your team members and track their progress. Let's move to Documents. File Manager stores all the files you've uploaded into the system. These files remain stored here indefinitely unless you delete them manually. In the Templates section, you'll see all the documents you have ever created in the My Templates tab. In Landlord Forms, we've collected all the documents you may need while managing your rental properties and made them easy to customize and easy to use for you. Simply select the document you need, press Use Template, and we'll autofill it with the information from your lease agreement. You'll be able to edit text, add new autofill elements, and send the document to your tenants for e-signature via the Tenant Cloud system. In the Tenant Cloud Reports section, there are quite a few reports like Rent Roll, Property Owner Statement, Tenant Statement, and others. Click View, and you'll see the additional filters you can use to generate every specific report. For example, a tax preparation report is usually used at the end of the year, so, in the date range, you choose the dates, select the property, select the accounting type, and choose whether or not you want to use the Schedule E as the basis for the report. Once complete, you can download the report. 1099 Tax Form is another helpful report during the tax season. It generates a 1099 for your connected service professionals and owners in a few easy steps. The Rentability Report allows you to get data about your rental market. It will help you understand whether a property is competitively priced. TC Messenger In Tenant Cloud, we have our own built-in messenger where you can keep in touch with everyone 24-7 without phone calls or in-person meetings. For easy navigation, there is a separate tab for your team, tenants, service pros, owners, property boards, maintenance requests, and leads. These are just a few of Tenant Cloud's key features. There are many more options and functions available to help you as a landlord or property manager. Sign up now to explore all the options.